Greetings, Agents of Change. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you for joining in. Let me know what country you represent, what country you are an agent of change in. I have been receiving so many messages from you guys. I want to be a change agent in my nation, all the way from Africa to the Caribbean. I hear you. I see you. I understand the dilemma. You want training. You want discipleship. And that's what it takes is a renewed mindset because I got to tell you the culture we're brought up in is not the right mindset in order to actually go in, solve problems, be an agent of change. So today I have an exciting announcement. As you know, our office are, oh, Linda Joe's on. Hi guys. Paulo Brazil's in the house. Royce. Hi, good to see you guys. So as you know, uh, Brittany um, went her own direction in life. She got married and then Ashton joined the team. She moved away a few months ago. So I have an exciting announcement and an, a very principled story that I want him to share because our newest team member is here with us today and he is going to help us implement all the goals and the plans that are been in my head <laughs> that I don't have the bandwidth to actually implement. So I am so excited to bring to you today. Are you ready? Drum roll. And we have Xavier. Hey Can you going? believe it? <laughs> Xavier, you have deployed yourself. How does that feel? Stupendous. And right? on time. Tell me the journey, how you got to that point, because this year has been a pivotable. Look, everyone, thumbs up, thumbs up. They're so excited. Yeah. Thumbs up, double thumbs up for me. <laughs> this year has been very transitional for you. You had a monumental birthday. Yeah, 50. And it's a new season for you in many ways. Yeah. So tell us about your deployment journey. How well, did you get to this point? Well, I, I've learned that life is measured by seasons, right? So in 2000, 2013 is when I started to come around to the community. And then I knew that in, actually in 2014 that my life's work was going to be with this community. So really my deployment started in 2014. I like it. So that's really when it started, not just recently. And so I've learned um, to prepare for every season and ultimately the season that got me here. And part of that was I was actually – waiting for my wife to discover her purpose because I didn't want there to be any kind of misfiring, so to speak. And so 2020 was that year. 2020 was, I know for some of you, it was a little bit of a harsh year, but for this community, it was a great time because things changed yeah. for the better. Uh, it had cult, it's, it's catapulted at least my wife now into local government. And uh, once she discovered that and she was, she said, okay, this is what I want to do, and she became a candidate. I knew now, okay, it's now going to be time to transition out. And I even said, at 50, I'm done with the workforce because I want to go into my life's work. So one, the things that I've learned was patience. you got to be patient. Um, can't stress that enough. You can say that again. you got to be patient. <laughs> Remember, this is seven years in the making, and I like the word, the number seven. The year of completion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything kind of lined up with that. Um, planning, obviously. Yes. This is what we're all about is we teach you how to plan so that you can go into your life's work. Mm -hmm. And preparation. Mm -hmm. I love what Papa would always say. When the winter comes, don't throw away your swim trunks. Mm -hmm. Save them. And then when the summer comes, don't throw away your winter coats. Save them. Why? Because you're going to need them in every season. So... That's been my that's been my life actually since I've been since I was 20. I always knew um, what season was in my life, mm -hmm. and and sometimes you know you don't really know, but mm -hmm. I think even more so with what we've done here and what we have learned here has helped us prepare even more for the future. And so I'm deployed. Um, it was intentional, and uh, again. And on that note, when you deployed yourself, you had no safety net. There is no safety net. There is no safety net. You, like I said, the preparation is make sure you get your house in order to the best that you can. 
But you're going to have to jump out of the plane without the parachute. Um, we're living by faith, literally by faith. But it feels right. And I did ask God for a sign. And that's just me and the father. You know, he works with me like that. Mm -hmm. I, when I got the sign, I'm like, it's time to go. And I remember leaving the job and I left with a good note. People are going to miss me. But it's time. And especially with the changes that are going on in the world, this was needed. 100%. Yep. Can I add one P? Yes. Because your life has exemplified this process. Absolutely. You've gone through the process. Yes. <laughs> That's Boy. a big deal. Huge That's deal. a principle that a lot of people circumvent. Yes. And then they think they're prepared, but they didn't go through the process. You've gone through tests. Absolutely. You've you know passed what? some tests. Actually, I want to share with this really quick. Remember when you talked to us about when uh, when Matt launched it out and the, the oil spill and the yes. check you received? And you're like, yes. okay, is that from the oil spill? And right. He's like, oh, and then he goes, that's not yours. I actually... $460,000 okay. that we denied from BP Oil. The day after my deployment, um, I got a check in the mail. Sounds really funny. <laughs> From a gig that I already got paid for. Okay. Now, remember, I'll live by faith. I could use that money. I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. I, but I remember when I opened, I'm going, okay. I was like, wow. I already got paid. The, wow. I, I thought about the story. I'm going, ah, wow. this is the test. Wow. Look, I can use that money, but it's not mine. And I want God to trust me with the little. So I call the guy and say, hey, I'm dropping the check off because in, you know, in, in good conscience, I can't take this. It's not mine. Thank you, but no. And I smiled. I was like, it's on. <laughs> it's on. Come on. Isn't that amazing? It is. I mean, the day after I deployed. I didn't like, even know that story. No, it just That's happened. something. Yeah, I couldn't wait to share it because I'm like, I know in our Christian days, we would think that would be a blessing right. from the Lord. <laughs> Money from heaven. <laughs> But I'm I'm thankful that you even shared that story with Matt because it that's the first thing that hit my mind. Yeah. I was like, you know what? All right, it's on. And yeah, we're living totally by faith, but it works. Yeah. Right? And the process is very important. Those you know what process. I was thinking the other day? I think this live stream is going to be a bit longer than we planned. But the other day I was thinking most people don't give God the opportunity to bless them because they're not living by faith. They're not putting the pressure on God by living by faith as truly God is our source. They really don't believe that. And that's when he shows up is when you put the pressure on him. So now you're putting the pressure on him oh, every day. Listen, if he doesn't <laughs> show up, that's it. It's like, what am I going to tell people? I have to, but this is the, this is, I know it sounds, this is crazy because I've actually been living on faith. Like I said, for the last three years, when you texted me, like, okay, now you're living by faith. I'm going, it's the only way to live. And you're right. It's one of those things where you just have to trust that, but believe that. And I remember I was brushing my teeth this morning going, man, we are really living by faith. <laughs> like, this is like. There's no guaranteed paycheck. Nothing is guaranteed except the Father. And it's like, okay, but there's this. Here's, I guess I'll just give you something that. Could maybe you can you know you can connect with is like you just have peace. The peace that surpasses all human understanding. This doesn't make sense. In fact, my wife like they tell her, "How are you guys doing this?" She goes, "Listen, we live a principle-based philosophy. We understand some principles about life, and if you want to know those principles, hey, come talk to us." And it's been an amazing like. Trust me, I get up in the morning. I'm like, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> But it makes sense because this vision is bigger than us. It's Thank you. It's bigger than our paychecks. Thank it's you. It's bigger than anything we could ever obtain. Thank you. It, trust me, the times we're living in right now, listen, we're going to have to make some sacrifices. Mm -hmm. It's a different mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But God will always provide for what he calls for. Mm -hmm. Those words now, Trista, are like magnified. They're, when, when Papa spoke those... I understood at the time, but now I really, yeah. it becomes like this force to be reckoned with. And um, faith is the way it process. And you're right. You got to trust the process. You know, patience and perseverance, those words right now are just, <laughs> they're just, they're there now. You're living those words. And it's an amazing feeling because 
uh, there is no fear. No, man. We've, and I've never lived by fear. I have always believed, you know what, God? I trust you. But remember, you have to really know what you're here for, your vision. Yeah. Right? This is a very key element in all that because you could, you know, you're taking a risk no matter what. Yeah. But when you have a vision and a plan, it makes sense. Yeah. Because it lines up. And again, when I just got the sign and I texted you, you're like, really? I'm like, yep. And you're like, awesome. And that was Well, it. what I want to share with everybody was you approached us in March, or Deja mentioned something to me back in April, March, April. Mm -hmm. Like Xavier wants to leave his job. <laughs> and we met with you, me and Debbie sat down with you and talked about some things. But for some reason, it just wasn't, I didn't feel like it was time, it was right, and I didn't know why. And me too. It just, we're like, yeah, Xavier, we love you, but <laughs> you know, we're not. Agency for Change isn't prepared to take you on as a full time employee and be your source. We couldn't do it justice, your value. Yeah. And so I was like, no, I would never want Xavier to leave his job to come at this point and work full time for us. And this was right. This was right when Brittany was leaving. She gave yeah. us her notice. Yeah, yeah. And then when I found out you were deploying yourself, your last day was like <laughs> after Thanksgiving yep. or at Thanksgiving. Yep, yep. And I'm like, oh, he did it. <laughs> he did it. He jumped out of the plane without a parachute. And it felt great. And you're right. The timing of it is perfect because I I remember walking away from that. I was like. I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel the time. Right. It's really weird. I'm like, and. But you couldn't pinpoint why. And I couldn't yeah. either. You know, I, I think, I, I'm sure you probably would agree with this. Like this summer changed some of us. Yeah. This sure. was a summer of change for some of us. Mm -hmm. uh, in some ways, you know, little, you know, kind of confusing. But in a lot of ways, they it, the changes now make sense. Yeah. Um, my wife went through some changes. I went through some changes. I'm sure you went yeah. through some. Oh, yeah. Um, and now we're here. Well, one thing I want to share with you guys is it's very easy if you have a platform to repeat what you've learned in a book. Yes. It's very easy to repeat what you heard on a video. But what I respect about Xavier is I've known him since 2013. He became a part of the community, so he's been around. I have not like singled out watching his life. It's not like I'm watching you. But over that period of time, your life speaks volumes in good ways or bad ways. But in Xavier's case, he has lived out the principles. He has gone through tests with finances. He called me, Trista, I think we're going to move. <laughs> We can't afford to be here. I'm not making enough money. Deja's, you know, having issues with this. And I, you can't tell anybody what to do. No. Because we're not the Holy Spirit. They need to hear from God for themselves. But you can give them principles for them to think about, resound with, chew on, digest, yes. and come to their own conclusions. That's the key. And so... You did that. And you said, okay, I'm staying. We're going to do this. And I was like, yay. Okay, Xavier, I got to get yep. back to work now. <laughs> yeah. And that. I'll never forget. I was like, yeah. that was a tough decision for you because you were going to move back Texas. to Texas. Yep. And there was comfort there. Big time. Fam family, all the families there. Uh, jobs. Financially. Financially. Like, yeah. you know what? This makes sense. You know, all this. And I got to tell you, we paid a price to stay here. We did pay a price, though. It, it wasn't like, oh, hey, come back. You know, the Holy Spirit's going to make it right. Uh, he <laughs> did, but not in the way that it was like, wait a minute. But again, I was like, but we have to be. I told my wife, you got to come back. She goes, what are we going to do? I said, I don't know right now, but I've sensed really heavy right now. This is where it's at. This is home. This is the work that we got to do in the future. I don't know what it looks like right yeah. now. But for right now, you need to come back and just trust what I'm saying. Wow. She goes, okay. And that's the one thing that I have. I will say that my wife and I have is a lot of trust for each other. Even for me, God bless her, like she trusts me. So mm -hmm. I don't take that lightly. Mm -hmm. And again, the process, we started off rough, but I'm now looking back, it was necessary for what we're doing now yes. to endure that because yes. 
this world, you know, like I said, it pulls us in all different ways, especially financially, right? And I didn't want that to be uh, any kind of sense of pull in my life. I wanted to strictly just get back to living by faith. And that's why I did that because I know, like, you know what? I know that feeling. And when I ignored mm -hmm. it one time, mm -hmm. it didn't do me right. Me too. So I was like, no, no. It's a big deal. Yeah. And, and again, Deja at the time wasn't didn't understand all that. And she does now. Um, she just, but she trusted me. She yeah. goes, I trust what you're saying. I said, look. God's not going to let us down, but we got to do this. And so we're here now. You know, sometimes we always look for the easy route. Yes. And we think God's giving us a guaranteed easy route <laughs> in life. Route. But then we'd be spoiled brats. It's – So, I'm, yeah. honestly, yeah. there's this show. It's the Minions, and this guy's called the Evil Brat in the, in the beginning of the show. He's a child actor. Yeah. He grew up. He still <laughs> – he thought he was this character. Yeah. And that's what happens when – you know, we're part of the Bless Me Club, and we think God showers on blessings. It's training. It's a process. Your character's being developed. you got to have scars on your back. Trust me, we got some scars. <laughs> and so what I want to circle back around, and that is what I respect about Xavier and his life, is since he's become a part of the community in 2016, he's lived the principles. He's walked in integrity and character. And trust me, there's times where people – didn't and haven't and I always found out and I didn't even want to know <laughs> and I'm like oh my gosh you know that's important it is very important character is very if we're going to say we're kingdom citizens and yes. we represent yes. the king you better operate in character you better send that check back you better decline that's that right. money absolutely yeah when you find a phone off on the ground you don't keep it <laughs> that's right so these are very important things. So I want to honor Xavier in that regard. Thanks, Trista. And one thing Dr. Miles said that I'll never forget, and it resounds in me. I think of this statement all the time. You can trust who you train. Yes. You told me that one time. You That's know, big. That is. You're like, you know, I've learned something through the years is like, you know, use the people that you have trained yourself because you know their mindset you see them go through the, the tests you see them come out of the test you know going through the test is one thing but how you come out of it is another right and you want to come out on top bloody scarred it's okay <laughs> they will heal you know and it's going to be okay but remember this is the the sense of character is very important and um you know i don't like to use the whole term I'm not perfect because it's no. almost an excuse. Yeah. Um, I'm only human. Yeah. That doesn't, I don't think that applies to kingdom no. culture because um, that's an excuse. And I agree. The great patriarchs never use those excuses. No. They just, they admitted it. And in fact, this is why David was considered great in God's eyes because he admitted, we read about his infidelity. He had a con contrite right. heart. Yes. So God's like, okay, you still screwed up, but hey, at least you're you're admitting to it. And um, that's, that's my thing every day is, you know, I think Charlie said something like, you know, the reason you don't want to do things is because you want to live with the with the 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 image of what you've done, that feeling of you did something wrong and for the rest of your life you have to deal with that. So don't do it. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And it's always been my mantra and I'm really thankful um that I to get the trust from not just you guys the community, but from my wife. Mm -hmm. Because during the process in the beginning when she came back, I mean we 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 had some uh some very passionate talks, mm -hmm. but she still trusted me. And now she says, Oh my God, I'm so, you know, thank you for everything that, you know, that you were able to teach me because now she's putting it into effect. Mm -hmm. And, um, the process I'm telling you is, is I think that's the main thing is how do you deal with the process? How do you go through it? How do you come out of it? And the, the principles, man, I'm telling you those, I mean, what we have <laughs> learned, I'm telling you guys, it's a life in you, but you have to do it right. Yeah. You have to do it right. And this is now, what we see. So now I want to segue into that. Now that you heard a little bit of Xavier's story, we have so many things on the agenda for 2022, but it takes planning, it takes excellence, and it takes what I call Jesus said, the laborers are few. The quality of oh. laborers is the problem. Yeah. I don't consider you a laborer, but we are all workers Absolutely. in the kingdom of God. Absolutely. And the harvest is not the issue even right. 2000 years ago. Yeah. It is so ripe. You're seen first. Oh my God. It's You're so in ripe. the world. <laughs> you, yeah. We're there. <laughs> so ripe. The pandemic has even ripened them even more. Big time. Like they're about to burst. They're ready. They're so change. hungry. Oh. 
And Ooh. it's important that people who exemplify the lifestyle of our king and don't compromise in their behaviors or lifestyle or decision making or the responses to people's behavior, they are watching. And I have to tell you, for that I am grateful that you are part of the team because that is such an important component. We cannot be hypocrites and our lifestyle speaks one thing and our words another. So out of our life, our testimony, proof of this kingdom is exemplified through our lifestyle. So uh, I was going somewhere with that. But what I wanted to share with you is that's another reason I'm honored you are part of the team because I can be proud to say I know Xavier because I know nobody in the community is going to say, oh, no, on the, <laughs> on the side, he's got a woman or on the sly, I saw him do this. Right. I mean, that's right. embarrassing. Right. It's embarrassing. And I have to tell you, yeah. it's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has. It, it's, it's, it's happened. It can happen anytime. You have to be on watch. Like even Dr. Monroe, as great as he is and was, he was smart and he knew his boundaries. I love the fact that he's like, I take my wife everywhere. Why? Because she's my bodyguard. Yes. And I get why he said that. I'm like, same yes. here. I was yes. like, listen, I've been invited to parties and clubs and my, you know, my wife's at home waiting for me. I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. Yeah. They're like, why? I got a wife to go home to. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got. I said, what am I gonna do? Really? I'm I married. <laughs> and you know what? I did that on purpose so that I could do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go home. But Dr. Miles said, "I live clean, live clean for your sake." Yes. 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 We live clean yes. for the the king's sake Absolutely. and the community's Absolutely. sake. Absolutely. And yes. we'll be tested. I mean, but totally. this Jesus was tested in three different areas before he was trusted with the vision. Yeah. So Lord have mercy. Yes. But I have to tell you, that's another reason I honor you. Also, there's no been snickering or snide talk or anything like that. And that is a big deal when it comes to now, listen, if we were in Christianity and representing re religion, that's a whole nother thing. You yeah. can do stuff and get away totally. with it. Absolutely. But in the kingdom, it's a different story. We're yeah. held to a higher standard and that standard has to be exemplified in our culture because nobody's exemplifying it anymore. Yeah. The standards have come down so low and even in the church, things are acceptable. It's, and it's sad. It's a crazy so time. all that being said, now let's talk about 2022. Yeah. We have some ideas. We have some plans. Xavier's going to help execute them. So I'm very, very excited about this. The first one is the School of Influence, the virtual leadership component. Many of you have contacted me. You want to do the School of Influence. We do it in a group sessions on Zoom. You read the materials. You do the studies. You watch the videos. You read the books. They're mostly Dr. Miles' books. And you read the materials in the book. And then we have our Zoom calls. Xavier is the head facilitator of these Zoom calls this next year. We'll have some guests on that are also very excellent in their field. Many, you know, many of them yep. and they add so much to it. Totally. So I wanted to announce that we are going to be opening up registration. We do start January 4th is a Monday where we start the program. So it gives you a month to register. We're going to do it a la carte. Some people want all the zoom calls, some don't. So we're going to do it a la carte. We're going to figure that out as soon as we get off the phone call. And we're trying to make it as affordable as possible for everybody, but yet you understand the value as well as Xavier's time and the facilitator's time. So that's one of the things because everyone's been asking, when are you starting the program? What's <laughs> going on? Because we are graduating them next Saturday is the final Sweet. session. This year's graduates. Um, we just fulfilled another graduation. The, the students in the Philippines, 92 graduates in oh, batch gosh. one. They've gone through the program this year. They are ready to transform their nation of the Philippines. They are now adding batch two students. So we are excited about that. Also, you guys know, Linda Joe, I love your comments. Deja, I see, <laughs> I see what you guys are saying. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for reiterating best thing ever is listening to the Holy Spirit. That is so, the tr so, so true. Um, the other thing is today we are opening registration for the agents of change symposium. You guys are saying, how much is it going to cost? What's the rate uh, for the hotels? Where, which hotels? Now I have to tell you, 
January 21, 22, and 23 is peak season. Yeah. Shoulder peak season. <clears throat> Everyone's <throat> traveling now. The hotels are sold out like crazy, even in slow times. So today when I launched the site, actually, it's already up. You can go. I launched it last night. So yeah. you can go on the website. I'll be posting it on social media, and you will be able to register. And you'll be able to live stream. We are talking to the AV company about that component. So I know a lot of you can't travel, international people. I know you want to come. I would love to see you. We would love to see you all again. But I understand some of the restrictions and the mandates and things. So, But you will be able to live stream. We're going to have excellent speakers. As you know, it's the transformation mandate. What does local community transformation look like? What does national transformation? And these are keys and principles that you can bring into any sector. Absolutely. In your family, Absolutely. in your business, in your organization, in your nonprofit, in your ministry, in the school boards, yep. in the PTA, in the, what else is there? The city council, the yep. county commission. What well, else we got? The Senate, yeah, the Congress, governor. the halls of the government Everything. of your nation. So these principles transcend time. They are time tested, proven to be true. So we are going to give you tools. They're beyond nuggets. They're oh. life changing tools and principles yeah, priceless. that number one, transformation starts with yourself. And then secondly, after that, you bring implement change into society. <laughs> President Deja. <laughs> President Deja. Love you, Linda. Absolutely. One thousand percent. Oh, trust me, she's got some. Woo. Right? She's I love on. it. <laughs> School of Influence is transforming. Yes, yes it's it transformed my life when I went through the mentorship <clears throat> program. So I put so many of those components in the School of Influence. So the wise will have ears to hear today. Absolutely. Invest in yourself. We are trying to make it as affordable as possible. We will be launching on the app in the new year. So everything's going to be in one place in the app we're working on that xavier is helping yeah. if it wasn't for xavier i don't know when would we launching this app <laughs> i gotta tell you it's been a labor of love for sure yeah. so um i think that's most of the announcements that i have with those two big things we are going to be doing at, i'm going to start locally an intensive kingdom training study we are stoked for that locally we're stoked in february uh no actually january. in january yep Xavier's going to roll that out online to an online platform, probably a Zoom event in February after the symposium. So be looking for that announcement. I know, I think there's other stuff going on. I will be launching the Authentic Leadership course. We have the symposium. We have the kingdom training we're going to start doing locally and online 2022 is gonna be a busy season. school of influence virtual yeah. yes it's a good year it's time to yes let's, let's, let's do it there's only one message and yeah. this message must be taught and then the end will come that's right what else are we gonna do so it's on us it's on you <laughs> not just us it's on you you guys too Absolutely. so thank you for joining us today it's yes. good seeing everybody xavier welcome to the team we appreciate we honor you as well I'm stoked and we will see you at, at the top. top.